So I'm Dr. Shaheen Gadir. I'm one of the partners at Southern California Reproductive Center. I'm a reproductive endocrinology and infertility specialist here. Did my undergraduate education at UCLA, um, where I continued also at the end of my career when I was doing my fellowship training. Um, I was the fellow that was picked out of a thousand applicants to do my three years of infertility training there. Um, I covered both the UCLA hospital and also the Cedars-Sinai hospital, which are two of the largest hospitals here in the Los Angeles area. And about 14 years ago, I started to work with the group here at Southern California Reproductive Center. And it's been about seven to eight years that I've been a partner here as well. Um, also graduated from my medical school class as number one student out of the entire class as well. Um, yes, yeah, so actually we've also been rated for the top doctors for 2016 and the signs are somewhere else. And also we were selected again for 2017 um, and the plaques are being mailed right now. So we're very fortunate since Southern California Reproductive Center is one of the top fertility centers in the country. Um, we've been selected as top physicians in our country, especially in the field that we are in. So Southern California Reproductive Center has one of the highest success rates in IVF success in the country. Um, we have about a 72% success rate right now with a genetically tested embryo. As long as the patient is able to make at least one genetically normal embryo, their success rate is about 72% going to a live birth. Um, with that, we would be doing the genetic testing, which is the PGD, with the most specific kind called next generation sequencing, which allows to check for all mosaics and also any kind of abnormal embryos as well. When we are using our egg donors, um, our success rate goes to over 80% going to live birth. And when we're using the combination of egg donor and also surrogate, we're even higher than that. So again, one of the highest success rates in the entire country in our field of medicine. So Southern California um, has fertility clinics, but we are the only fertility clinic in the heart of Beverly Hills. We're considered to be the premier fertility group um, with the highest end quality. Um, everything in our IVF lab and everything that we do in our office is done with the best of quality materials, including every single aspect of our IVF laboratory. The IVF laboratory is open to the doctors from different locations and all of the doctors from the Cedars-Sinai Medical Center and also the UCLA Medical Centers use our IVF laboratory to do all of their IVF cases along with 29 other doctors in the Los Angeles area who come and do their cases in our office. Our IVF lab, which is called the ART IVF Center and ART IVF Laboratories, um, was set up over 20 years ago with one of the most famous uh, embryologists that was available in the world and currently we have a new PhD laboratory director who came from the largest fertility center in New York and has been running our laboratory for the last six years. We have two PhDs that work in the laboratory and there's a total of 13 embryologists right now that run our IVF laboratory. In our IVF laboratory, we have some of the newest equipment. We have the micro incubators and we also have the newest equipment available in the world, which is called an embryoscope. We actually own three of them. There's 16 in the United States at this time. There's two in this office and one of them in our Santa Barbara office. The embryoscope is an incubator that takes about a thousand pictures a day of the embryos as they grow. So it tells us every single structural move that the embryo makes and we are able to assess which embryo grew the most beautifully. So we get the PGD results for the genetic well-being and we also get the structural well-being from the embryoscope. So we're really able to say which embryo is the absolute best embryo that's being created. So the process of undergoing fertility treatment involves first doing a consultation. For our international patients, especially those coming from China, we normally set up um, phone consultations or video consultations in order so we can see each other and go over every aspect of the male and the female's health and what they've done in the past and also orient them on what they're doing moving forward and how the whole process works. After the initial consultation, we would make some recommendations of different kinds of blood tests to get preliminary testing done to make sure that everyone is in good health, especially meeting all of the test requirements for the United States. So before someone flies to the U.S., we know that all of their blood tests are okay and there's no illnesses that we have to worry about once they're here. Once they are about to come here, they generally start by telling us and informing our team that they have gotten their period. We usually send them for blood tests and ultrasounds in China, and at that time start them on birth control pills, which kind of stops their cycle, 
They'll be on birth control generally for about 10 to 15 days, and then at that point they arrive here in our office where they start the injections. The injections are very, very small needles that are given right into the abdominal area, and it usually takes about 10 to 12 days of injections with about four to five visits here for blood tests and ultrasound to see how the levels are going up and how the eggs are growing. And at that point, we're ready to take the eggs out. The eggs are also removed right here on our office in our surgery center called the Roxbury Surgical Center. It's a very high-end surgery center specializing in fertility. And also, we have a full-time three anesthesiologists that work there. They give our patients a very light sedation, which they are only just falling asleep for about five to 10 minutes, where the eggs are then removed under anesthesia with no pain, and the patient wakes up and does not have any idea that anything was completed. Um, generally speaking, we like to recommend the male partner to freeze sperm so it's available. If they're present on that day, they can give fresh sperm. Um, and, and the egg and the sperm at that time will go to the IVF laboratory where it will be monitored for one week of growth. And at the one week mark, we know every embryo that made it to the blastocyst stage, which is the complete full grown embryo, and all of the embryos that make it to the blastocyst stage are able to get a biopsy and then immediately get frozen. And the biopsies are what leave the office. The embryo never leaves our office and the biopsy goes out for genetic testing. And within a week, we know which embryos are normal, which ones are abnormal, and we also know the gender of the embryos. So IVF Plus Healthcare Consulting Company has been a good partner for us coming from China. We've had excellent success. They really have had a great idea in terms of what testing needs to be done and explaining to the patients so they come here well-educated. Our patients that are coming from that company are coming here understanding all the steps, what is next, very organized and knowing how to move forward in the entire IVF process, which we really appreciate. And it allows us to give better care to the patient since they know exactly what's going to be involved and all of the preliminary testing that needs to be done has already been done. So we've had the experience of working with many um, companies from China that have been bringing patients to our office. One of the things that's been very impressive is that it's a smaller team but gives much better boutique care for the patients. And because there's not a lot of people involved with the company and it's much more boutique care, I think that the patient's needs are met very, very easily.